Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Tuesday, everyone, and we're in Niagara Falls. And today, we're going to take a walk starting here on Lundy's Lane and Drummond Road. And you can see there's the water tower out there. And across the street from us is a Red Lobster and there's various other shops around here and restaurants. So we're gonna just take a nice snowy walk today. <laughs> uh, all the way to the falls, that's where we're going. So it's gonna be a nice long walk. Hopefully we'll see some interesting things along the way. So come along for the walk, let's go. on the left hand side there's a church's chicken this used to be a Starbucks right here and I noticed on my way here there's a, an inn here on the left and it's like a retro looking inn kind of like how it looks with the, the bright paint on the balconies Nice vintage vibes to that. And it's called the Highlander Inn. And we're just heading east on Lundy's Lane. And we're just coming up to uh, a cemetery that's on the right there's a lot of history and it has to do with Lundy's Lane Battlefield 1814 and I noticed here there's a, a museum it says Battleground Hotel Phallic Tavern circa 1850 and I don't know when this is open but it's a really nice looking place looks really old 1830 over here it says it says it was restored in 2001 as the Canada Millennium Partnership Project of the Friends of the Lundy's Lane Battlefield and the Millennium Bureau of Canada so all these names on the plaque were involved with that so, interesting though, interesting looking place. And then there's some other displays over here, I noticed. It's not too bad out today though for temperature wise. It's not that cold. It's uh, maybe like two degrees. Maybe it feels like below zero. I'll post the temperature after in the video. And they have these neat cut out displays here of the soldiers. See here, there's a display here. The Battle of Lundy's Lane, War of 1812. It says it was a turning point in the war of 1812-14 by British reinforcements began arriving in North America following the defeat of Napoleon in Europe. The Americans were pushing to gain control of the Niagara Peninsula in the early evening of July 25, 1814 and their attempts were thwarted at the Battle of Lundy's Lane which stopped the American advance and marked the beginning of the end of the war. And there's a really nice overhead sign here. You can see what's showing the battle going on here. It's really nice though. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, in this cemetery is Laura Secord is buried. If you know who she is. She played an important part in the War of 1812.
Bundy's Lane, uh, War of 1812 Battlefield. And we're supposed to get a lot of snow today, about so 5 to 10 centimeters. So it should be a nice snowy walk all the way to the falls. Nice church here on the left, nice bells up there, nice bell tower. There's an old cemetery right here next to the church. It's like a nice neighborhood down there too. says that uh, the history of this cemetery it was originally known as the Lemon Family Burial Grounds and then the Westland Methodist Cemetery when a church was built on the adjacent property in 1846. You can see there the gravestones there. Dance in a little motel here. There's quite a few, you'll see quite a few motels as we go along the street here. If you like staying motel in, if you like staying in motels, that's an option if you're visiting the falls. vintage shops on this street as we walk to and there's a pawn shop here across the street Vincent's thrift shop and then across there is a freak show comics <laughs> and now we're just approaching Main Street Further up in the west part of Lundy's Lane, there's many, many restaurants that way if you're looking for different places to eat. And it's also where the Flying Saucer is located. And there's also Arby's, which there's only two Arby's in this area. There's one here in Niagara Falls and one in St. Catharines. And the next one is quite a bit further away in Stony Creek. And I see on the left here, there's a scooters place where you can rent scooters. And then there's a look down Main Street right here. I didn't walk down there before. There's a lot of nice buildings on Main Street. And that will also take you to uh, a different way to get to the falls that way. And if you walk this way or drive this way, you'll end up near the hotel district where, and by the Falls View Casino. See, there's different bus stops here for the WeGo bus and also Niagara Falls Transit. There's 
just want to give you a little look around what's along here. Berry Street Cafe, Warehouse Shisha. We're just passing, we're just coming up to Maple Leaf Tavern, which is a really interesting looking building. I kind of like the look of it with the circular windows. And then across the street here is the Niagara Falls History Museum. It's been there a couple times, it's really nice. There's really cool displays about you know the war of 1812 and then different um, historical things about Niagara Falls really nice museum worth going to check out for sure and then you can see here on the right is a really beautiful mural right here someone painted really nice showing many different Things in nature and then a War of 1812 soldier. Very nice. And there's even a painted pole next to it there. It almost looks like a totem pole. Very pretty. Really nicely done. Bar and Grill. And there's another bureau on the side of this tattoo uh, studio here. And then an Indian Pakistani restaurant, Taste of Bombay. Continental Inn. wings and things. I noticed a pizza place when I was walking up here. It looked interesting. We're going to be passing by it up here. There's your local car wash here. Quick car wash. I can see there's a Dollar Tree store here on the right. That looks new to me. 
And I think maybe that that was a grocery store before. If anyone knows, maybe you can let me know in the comments. Evergreen thrift store right here, but it's closed. But I noticed they have a cool beetle shirt in there. Look at those nice jerseys. Look at the stones, rolling stones. Tank top is really nice, actually. Look, if you want your uh, Barbie camper there, <laughs> that's really nice. Oh, you know, when I was little, I wish I would have had one of those. <laughs> Really unique here. I'll have to check this place out sometime. Wow, look at this setup here. It's only twelve dollars for this bar big Barbie playhouse. That's a big price, I think. And there's a piano bench, all kinds of different things here. Skates for eight dollars. Looks like they have really good deals. And then there's oh look at the shirt. It says respect. <laughs> And then an Iron Maiden t-shirt, which I kind of like that. Great shop. Maybe we can check that out sometime on a live stream. See what they have. And there's a Filipino Asian store here. Look, they have bubble tea, milk tea, different, different things they have here. nice little place. Big shop. You can even sit there and eat too. There's little stools. Portage Bakery. I've always wanted to try this place. And the cafe too. It's not open today though, but they look at the nice little dine-in area there. It's like the inside but you're outside with the umbrellas. <laughs> snowing now. I did a walk once down this street. And we're just coming up to this construction site here and it's just still sitting the same as it was. So they haven't really gone further with it. Not sure when they will be working on that again. And now we are on Ferry Street. We're just coming by the Pizza Depot, that's the pizza place I was telling you about that I noticed. And their prices seem pretty decent. I wonder if anyone has tried this. Pizza Depot at Mama's Inn on Ferry Street. And they have halal options, walk-in pickup special, medium with one topping, one dipping, $10.99. Or you can get a large for $39.99 with three toppings, 10 chicken wings, garlic bread, and a drink dip and cheesecake. <laughs> That's quite a combo. We have a little patio area here. This is King's Inn near the falls. Okay, so let's walk to the falls. That's what we're doing. Walk into the falls. Oh, they have a large parking lot. It's kind of a nice place. I wonder what it's like there. King's Inn. Ferry Street. They have a pool. Wow, it's quite a large construction site though that they have there. Right next to the Dairy Queen. restaurant here in Napoli and from what I've read it's supposed to be number one 
on TripAdvisor for pizza. So according to TripAdvisor, they have the best pizza here in the falls. So if any of you know, let me know. They have all kinds of antipasta, salads, pasta pizza, entrees, desserts, and wine. And now we're at Stanley Avenue and Ferry Street. Gas station there, Shell, and a Circle K store. Kind of like a convenience store for all your little needs. And then we're just coming by All Max Buffet. If you like buffet style dinners or lunches, breakfast, then you might enjoy All Max. I don't expect it to be too busy here today. <laughs> But I just wanted to come for a walk because of the snow. I thought it would be a nice snow walk. Potato jackets. That I have not seen before. I don't think, I don't remember it. Here comes the Wego bus. Snow has slowed down a little bit now. Just little flurries now. Like a light snow. exchange here. Machine. So you can exchange your cash here, your uh, um, different currencies here. Another gift shop. There's a Cadillac Motel, which I think is a really neat looking motel and I think the, the rooms have different themes because I saw that uh, if you want to check out Hidden Jackpot's channel he's based in Niagara Falls and he did a, a review on the room there and it looks really really cool so it looks like a nice little place Cadillac Cadillac Motel They tore down now. Don't know what that was. But it's no longer, no more. I wonder if something else will go in its place. And we're just passing the Admiral Inn here. And on a weekend or a weekday, sometimes they have really good. Uh, parking prices so you can park here and it's not a very far walk to the falls so if you're looking for cheaper parking you might want to park here same with the place across the street from it the Dalai Niagara's Best Inn there too I think it says oh yeah see full parking full day parking five dollars today Wait, can you hit the button we're just outside of Chuck's Roadhouse. 
and we're gonna be um, we're gonna continue on down ferry and down here is Ellen Street Now we're in the Clifton Hill district. So this is where you're gonna start seeing a lot of hotels and restaurants and gift shops. Fairfield by Marriott, right here. And then next to it is the Days Inn. And you can see there's another Marriott here, Courtyard Marriott. And then we're just passing by Hooters. Kids eat free on Sundays. And there's the Keg Steakhouse and Bar. Keg is usually a, a good food. I like the Keg personally. There's a Starbucks coffee here on the right. Now, there's not really too many people out here today. Maybe once we get closer to the falls, there'll be some people. But as you can see, it's not very touristy today at all. Howard Johnson's here. Pl Howard Johnson Plaza by Wyndham by the Falls. Well, it's quite a large place. It's a nice looking place. You can see that's probably where the pool is. Glass building there. With the giant chair here. I think I'm gonna build a little snowman and sit him on the arm of that chair. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put this down put this down so you can see I'm gonna build it right there <laughs> just a tiny little snowman it's good snow packing we'll call this the snow person how about that <laughs> There's my snow person. <laughs> there it is. My snow person. Oh, I can smell all the food. It smells so good. It is about 10 to 2 now. You can see all the different shops here. a nice inn there for hotel sterling inn i believe it's called here i'll zoom in on that i think it used to be an old factory from what i understand really unique looking isn't it Place. 
Doesn't look like it's open today. Smokes poutinery. If you ever want to see, I uh, did a video with Toronto Tech and Transit and we had Smokes Poutinery here. If you want to check it out, I can, I'll put the link to his channel in the description and you can see what we had to eat. Nice shop here. It's very quiet. <laughs> There's nobody around. You can see all the parking prices today are pretty reasonable. Five dollars. This is Vittoria Hotel. Looks like they're still doing some renovating here. It's not going to be anyone on the speedway today with all the snow. There's Mamma Mia's Italian Eatery since 1958. You can just get a view here. You can see the post factory down there where they make cereal. And there's the theater. It used to be uh, Greg Freewin Theater. But they still put on shows there. Places aren't even open this time of year. And Antica's Pizza here. I think it was also on the top, in the top five, I think, for for pizza on TripAdvisor. a few people coming up now. A little bit of people starting to show. Match up gifts and collectibles. And there's the sign for an Econo Lodge. It must be near it. Oh yeah, right here. See, there's the entrance for Econo Lodge. Next to Souvenir Mart. They got quite a bit of snow here in Niagara Falls. We're just passing by Montana's. <laughs> nice shops there. Look at these, the macrame things with the owl. It's a dream catcher. $45, but it's nice with the owl. I like it. And this one here, too, with the tree, the feathers. Very pretty. And of course, there's a Starbucks here. I think we'll walk on that side. There's various shops that continue down here on Center Street and restaurants. A nice old building right there. Now we're at Clifton Hill, right at the top of Clifton Hill here, and Ferry Street or Victoria Avenue, sorry. I just 
notice there's two posts here. They must have been an entranceway for something at one time. Anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> Covering all the time. So now we're right on Clifton Hill. Street of fun. You will be. In fact, you'll be terrified. This is the house of Frankenstein. Beware! As you climb the 1300 haunted stairs, terror will be stopping you, preying on unsuspecting victims. Do not turn around. I wonder if the sky wheel is open today. Find the hidden passageway and finish the journey of terror, or be lost in the clutching darkness forever. starting to see a little bit of people walking around. Not many though on this snowy Tuesday. Yeah, it looks like the sky wheel is open. Not sure if there's anyone on it right now. So at the Clifton Hill Family Restaurant, that's where I tried the Dole Whip with uh, Adam C. from Hidden Jackpots. But look, you can get a top 10 ounce sirloin for $34.99. Look at that nice looking car. It's turning around. needs if you forgot yours and you get mitts and hats there. This nice little shop, the Blue Moose, I think this is called. Nice looking hoodies in there. Today. I don't mind that. And there's the Wendy's there. It's always busy there. Seems it's busy no matter what. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder what's happening here. Niagara Clifton Group has it blocked off here. Are they doing something here? I wonder what that's going to be too. We're just passing the Wax Museum of the Stars. Cross. Tricky here. Oh, they're just cleaning. Cleaning the sidewalk. It looks beautiful. 
I think it might be it might be a little more frozen maybe this time since the last time I was here on uh, Friday. We'll find out. Get buy one, get one, 50% off selected t-shirts and sweatshirts. I think we're gonna go through Oaks Garden Theater. So I think it'll be really nice with the snow and then we'll make our way to the falls. Through there. Big car. Sheridan. It's open. Okay, good. I almost thought the gate was closed. Wow, oh, see, it's like a little winter wonderland in here. It's so pretty. I'll have to walk through the whole place. I hear the birdie. Oh, there's a cardinal. Female cardinal right here. Let me zoom in on her. I don't want to scare her. Oh. <laughs> Flew away. Oh, there goes the male. Well, maybe we'll see them as we go that way. So pretty here though. Well, let's go a little bit over here. I think we'll come back through here though. We'll, we'll end up over here, but just want to take a peek through here. It's a lot of snow in here, that's for sure. Wow, look at it. Beautiful.
Well, that was quite beautiful in there. I didn't want to talk. I just wanted to make it nice and relaxing. So now we're at the bottom of Clifton Hill and the Niagara River Parkway. Okay, let's go see how the falls looks today. Wow, there's so much ice beside it. It is it's starting to get a bit frozen on the rocks. And you can see next to it where the walking paths are right beside the falls is completely covered in ice. Just one big icicle. But it looks so beautiful. falls very well. There's a lot of snowy mist so we don't get a good view of that today unfortunately. But that's going to do it for today's walk. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.